Hi, the JD Edwards Enterprise One Form Extension is a powerful tool that enables you to extend your Enterprise One business logic by providing free form input for orchestrations launched from form extensions. Launching an orchestration from an event on a form extension has become an effective way to extend application functionality without traditional customizations. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can provide free form input to an orchestration using simple steps. Let's take an example of a bicycle manufacturing company that processes a lot of items from different vendors. As a procurement analyst, Aura wanted to check the inventory count for items that she is going to use. She has automated a business process to check the inventory count and she is leveraging that as a part of this button click event. She checks the inventory count first and then based on the item availability, she creates a purchase order for one or more item numbers for the same screen if the item numbers goes below the threshold. The values for the purchase order can be overridden either by mapping a form control or by adding free form inputs to the orchestration. For this purpose, we'll call the orchestration from the work with item availability form. Use the form extension icon to access the form extension manager's side panel. We'll use a new web button on the form and name it as create purchase order. Next, we'll access the associate orchestration wizard. This wizard contains a series of steps that you must complete in a sequential order. In the first step, we'll select the control and event to which we want to associate the orchestration. Let's select the new button as the control. We'll associate the orchestration with the button clicked event. Use the next button to move to the next step in the wizard. Notice that the check mark on the previous step, this indicates that the step has been completed. Let's select the orchestration. The define input step, turn on the use multiple inputs toggle button to view array inputs that will be shown in a tabular format. Click the array icon. You can see that the item number and quantity ordered in the array format. Enter or update the values in the cell and save the data. Overwrite the default values and map the branch plan from the form and enable allow empty option. You can also see a new column allow input. When you turn on this toggle button, the corresponding field is displayed in a pop-up box during the runtime to enable the user to overwrite the values before running the orchestration. Click next. Use this step to define how you want the orchestration to be executed. We can use the option allow user to cancel to cancel the orchestration just before its execution. Click next and save this association. We'll save this form extension. Next, let's check the item availability and create a purchase order. We'll see whether the orchestration is executed when we click the create purchase order button. You can overwrite the values displayed in the pop-up box for which the allow input toggle button was enabled. These values are sourced from the form control. When you click the multiple inputs icon, you can add, modify and delete rows in the table. Click OK to save the data. Click cancel or the close icon if you want to cancel the orchestration. Click OK to run the orchestration. You can see an output message with the order number if the orchestration is executed successfully. You can access the purchase order application and check and confirm that the order is generated. To sum up, you can use the form extensibility framework to associate an orchestration and provide free form input for orchestrations using simple steps on an Enterprise One form. For more information, visit us at learnjd.com. Thanks for watching.